God said, look at. And look in the realm of the spirit. God said, see this naira and dollar. I said, yes, what is the problem, naira and dollar? He said, naira and dollar, very, very soon, dollar will go up in such a way, naira will now become as if it is paper. Naira become as paper. 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 If care is not fully taken, the right thing quickly adjusted. Because when I look at the clock in the realm of the spirit, I begin to check. When is this happening in the realm of the spirit? What is going on and what am I seeing? The Lord said, look at the Naira you are seeing now. I look at Naira. I see dollar. I look at dollar again. I see Naira. I see dollar. The Lord look. The Lord begin to open my eyes and say, look in the realm of the spirit. The Naira you are seeing now is coming to be like paper because it's already in the realm of the spirit that i've made it paper already and i look at dollar i see dollar now going up 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 you know i've said this prophecy often time and i say the people involved should know the type of prayer that needs to be done serious prayers should be done and serious steps should be taken if not very soon i see dollar in such a way that dollar went up and naira is completely a paper but the Lord help us all that you don't hold 10,000 naira in your hand. And 10,000 naira will just be to, to, to just buy a tuba of yam. 10,000 naira to buy a tuba of yam. Cup of gary now up again. So may the Lord help us and the Lord deliver us from the impending plan of the enemy. The reason why a prophet is given to us is to open our eyes to pray and to also the people involved that need to do the right thing should do the right thing to do the right thing i see where they begin to pay salary somebody collected salary and took the salary and hold the salary in his hand was looking at the salary the salary cannot even put food on the table salary cannot put food on the table the minimum wage thirty thousand or thereabout now become nothing anymore so may the Lord help us because uh, God wants us help us and God wants us to you know see the light. It's not the will of God that anybody should perish. The will of God is that we all should come to repentance. God needs a repentance. Repentance from the people that has given the opportunity. People that are put in the position. People that have the mandate in their heart. They should quickly do a U-turn and do the right thing that is needed a u-turn and the right thing because uh, you look at the people you look at everything that is boiling and boiling and heading is heading to what is called knockdown knockdown you see the price of petroleum in the realm of the spirit i saw the price of petroleum that just as i prophesied last year i told you people i said the month of uh, in, in, in december i told you the month of february and march that the price of petroleum is going up and then after everything it went up prayer and everything after it go up he stabilized at a particular price i see a massive storm that picked the price again this price now went straight to go and hit 250 official price 250 over 200 that is 250 Climbed over 200 and went up, and they become official price. Prayer is needed. Prayer is highly needed. The reason of this prayer is for us to pray and pray. 2023, I've said this prophecy before. 2023 is too far for people to start campaigning. People that are campaigning 2023, ah, blah, 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 blah. blah. They should just relax and look for something good to do. Do something good for the people. Do something good in the country because 2023, I see massive wind. So the hand of the Lord must always continue to prevail over the hands of the enemy, the kingdom of darkness. We need to seriously pray because when the dollar now goes up, what will it mean to Nigeria? What will it mean to Africa? What will it mean to this country? What will it mean to the people? Dollar going up will mean negative impact. So we pray that the power of God, the hand of the Lord, will surely prevail.
so that the enemy will not have advantage of the people. God is not interested for people to suffer. God is interested for people to rejoice and be happy. People must rejoice and be happy and people must be happy because uh, God has made them to be happy. God did not make them to cry. God did not make them to be frustrated. You have opportunity in your hand. You don't know what to do with it. You are in a position. You don't know what to do with it. Ask and tell the people, I cannot do this. So that the right people will come over to do the right thing. I said this before and I'm saying it again. The right thing is what we all are praying for and we need. So that we can have a better life. You know, when you get to heaven on the last day, you will see yourself in heaven. You will see the angels and then you see other people from other continents. They will come into heaven and God will say, oh, you are welcome from heaven, from the world. How are you? He said, fine. They say, how is the world? This one will say, oh, our country is good. This one will say, I'm from Africa, Nigeria. And the person cannot have that experience. What the person will say will be a thing that will make ear to tingle because of what we are facing and what we are seeing on a daily basis. May the Lord help us and may the Lord help us to you know, overcome challenges, overcome difficulties, overcome tough times. But I want to say to you that if you are in the position and you are not doing what is expected of you, I'm sorry because God himself is the one that will judge on the last day. God is the one that will judge. The price of petroleum up again, up again up again i see where they now begin to try to see whether they can open up border to open up border border i see where they begin to now open up border opening border this is a prophecy of what god is showing me now uh, where they begin to now open up border opening up border now and this evening this is evening it's called evening things have damaged they want to open up border okay they open up border glory be to god Whatever the will of God may be, let the will of God be glorified. Let the name of the Lord be praised forever, forever and ever. The people that God has positioned to do the right thing, they should always pray that God should give them the opportunity. This is about opportunity, God giving opportunity to the people that will do the right thing. And the God is the one that is ready to give them the opportunity. And that opportunity will definitely come to them to them in the name of jesus we will also continue to pray for the world at large every introduction of uh, uh, something negative and when i say something negative what they will introduce the world into that we now begin to continue to be a storm or a, a heavy load on the people god should take control and silence that in the name of jesus i see in the realm of the spirit i see we are Britain is tired of what is completely happening in Nigeria. And they say their hand is no more. They do pata pata pata. That is the people that we call our, 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 what, what the colony. They say that they are, what is happening in Nigeria, pata pata pata. So God in heaven be praised forever, for he knows it all and he knows what is the best for us. And let his will be done forever and ever in Jesus' name. I want to say the light of God will shine and no darkness will stop the light of God from shining. Wherever you're connected and you're watching me this evening, God will definitely visit you and God will do a miracle. And the world will see the miracle of the Lord as something new will continue to happen in Jesus' name. You see, God is the one that knows everything about politics and God is the one that is own everything called politics. So God is very much interested. And God wants to see the kind of politics we play. You that have the opportunity, God is looking at you. How are you playing the politics you play? Are you playing the politics of destruction, deadly to kill people? Or you are playing the one to make people become who God wants them to be? Whichever one you are playing, God is writing them. And that is what the Bible said, that you will be judged with whatever you have done. God gives everybody opportunity. But the opportunity given to you, what and what are you doing with it? What are you doing with the opportunity? What you're doing with the opportunity matters a lot. Moses had the opportunity to stay in King's Palace and eat all the kinds of queens and king's meal. But he decided to suffer with the people of God. He said, how can I be in the palace, in the, in the palace to eat and drink and why the people are dying in hunger? Why the people are dying with intimidation? 
frustration, injustice. And what did Moses do? Moses left the palace and went to fight for the people. He went to fight for the people. He went to lay down his life for the people and made sure that the people, all of them, are happy again. He took them to the promised land. He moved them out of bondage. He moved them out of their, 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 their predicament and take them to the place of, of, of their fulfillment. So I said to you, wherever you're watching me, God is asking you, what are you doing for him? Do something for the Lord. Do something for God. Do something for Jehovah. Do something for your maker. Opportunity given to you is once in a lifetime. You will not be a leader forever. When you leave this world, God will say, ah, yes, you are done with what I've called you for. How did you work your work? That is why a songwriter wrote a song. And they say, all our work is written. All the work we have done is written. And when the time comes, they will all appear before us in the presence of God to be for a judgment. And then that is where they will ask you a question. What have you done with what is given to you? What have you done with what is given to you? So I see this in the realm of the spirit that God revealed to me. God revealed to me. God is seriously angry. And the Africa should pray. Africa should pray. Africa should pray. Africa should pray. Because uh, the way I see in the realm of the spirit that dollar is going up. When it affects Nigeria, other nearby Africa is, is somehow gone. Because in the realm of the spirit, I will always sound the message before they fully come. This is a message that started coming since last year. Even before dollar began to hit 400 and for something. This message has started coming. And now we are at the verge. This month, next month, and the June, before December. <laughs> oh God, may the Lord have mercy in the name of Jesus. May the light of God shine even in darkness. Let darkness not comprehend the light of God. The Bible said the light will shine in darkness and no darkness will be able to stop the light. Whether the devil like it or not, the light of God must shine. This is why a songwriter wrote this and say, The light must shine, the light of God must shine. No matter what the devil do, the light of God must shine. The light must shine, the light of God must shine. No matter what the devil do, the light of God must shine. The light must shine, the light of God must shine. No matter what the devil do, the light of God must shine.